Hey everybody, I hope you're having a good day. We are about to get ready to sing a worship song together. Who's ready to sing a song and praise Jesus? Here we go. Boom, Identify the extreme close ups.
kids, do you like my outfit? I mean, it's amazing. I mean, yes. I wore this to school today all day long. Well, except in gym class, but that's a different story. You know, everywhere I went today, everybody saw me and was like, whoa. And before I even got inside the building, the Dean of Students called me out and said, Alexis, whoa. Everywhere I went, I had everyone's attention and I made a bold statement with my outfit. And you know, this should be a lot like how we pray with God. We should be bold and make a statement with what we say to Him. So check out this verse. Hey kids, happy Sunday. Today I'm going to teach you a verse. It's found in Hebrews 4, 16. So let us keep coming boldly to the throne of grace so we may obtain mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Say it with me this time. Hebrews 4, 16. So let us keep coming boldly to the throne of grace so we may obtain mercy and find grace to help us in this time of need. One more time. Hebrews 4, 16. So let us keep coming on boldly to the throne of grace so we may obtain mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Great job. Hey kids, do you remember Abraham as in Father Abraham had many sons? Well, before Abraham had sons, he had a nephew and his name was Lot. But did you know that Lot lived in a bad neighborhood? There was a lot of bad stuff going on. And God told Abraham that he was going to totally destroy the city. And so what did Abraham do? He made a couple of bold requests to God. Let's check out this week's Bible story. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Abraham. So this is Abraham. Hey. Abraham had a nephew named Lot. He lived in the land of Jordan, which was near a city called Sodom. Unfortunately, the people who lived in Sodom did wicked things. God told Abraham that he was going to destroy the city of Sodom. Abraham pleaded with God for the people in Sodom. He asked God that if he could find at least 10 people that were not wicked, that God would promise not to destroy the city. God sent two angels to the city of Sodom. The angels searched for at least 10 people who were not sitting against God, but there were none. The angels told Lot that God was going to destroy the city they told Lot to gather his family and leave the city. But Lot took a long time. He waited until it was almost too late. The angels grabbed their hands and pulled him and his family out of the city. They told Lot and his family to not turn back, but to keep going. Then God sent fire and it rained down on the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. The whole city was destroyed. Lot's wife disobeyed the angels and turned around. She immediately became a pillar of salt. Lot and his family were safe because they obeyed and left with the angels. God showed mercy and kept Abraham's family safe. All right, kids, so we've talked about praying boldly, but now it's time to put our words into action. I know that a lot of people have been sick lately, so we need to be praying about that. But whatever's going on in your life specifically, make sure you're praying about that as well. All right, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this day. Please help anyone out there who's been sick lately, and I just pray you just totally touch their body and give them complete and uttermost healing. I pray you help anyone who's angry out there in this world and all this diversity stuff going on, and I just pray you totally touch people's hearts. Amen. All right, kids, thank you so much for watching. Bye.